Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a video to let you know about two new features that Microsoft is testing in the preview version of Edge, which is Edge Canary. Now, the first new feature they are testing, they say will bring a more minimal toolbar experience to the toolbar in the browser, because as you can see in the Edge web browser for desktop, if you do enable a whole lot of different features and options it can clutter up that toolbar quite quickly and quite drastically and uh, um, the new option and new feature which i actually think will be quite handy if it ever does roll out to the stable version um, is hidden behind an experimental flag and once that flag is enabled it's going to move the profile picture from the toolbar and your profile icon from the toolbar to the title bar in the top left thereby just um, decluttering the toolbar and giving you less clutter and just freeing up a little bit of space on that toolbar. So to enable the flag, as always, we just head to the address bar and enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search, just enter toolbar, type in toolbar. That's the easiest and that will bring up the relevant flag. And it says Microsoft Edge minimal toolbar experience and the description reads, moves the profile icon to title bar and cleans up browser toolbar to create a minimal state experience as mentioned. As always, we change the flag from default to enabled and then we'll have to restart Edge Canary to apply that flag. Now you'll see after that flag has been applied, the profile picture icon has been moved from the toolbar and has now been placed in the title bar to the top left. And as mentioned, I think that'll be a nice handy and useful option if it does roll out to the stable version just giving you a little bit more screen real estate when it comes to uh, your browser's toolbar and at this stage though it is hidden behind an experimental flag but it's not known when it does roll out officially to a stable version and if it does roll out officially if there will actually be a setting to toggle and turn this feature on and off that's not known yet but at this stage is being tested and is hidden behind an experimental flag. So that's the first new feature being tested. Now the second is actually a feature I did post on um, a week or two ago, where um, if we head over to a a website, I'm just going to head to Wiki, Wikipedia as an example. Um, there is a feature where um, Microsoft are testing um, rounded corners for the actual browser frames so that will be the frame around websites and in the browser that will actually have rounded corners and bring visual separation now um, there is a flag available but it's not working at this stage but just to show you uh, the experimental flag if we head back to the address bar and we enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags and we head back to the flags page uh, this time we just enter rounded that's enough to bring up that flag and here you can see Microsoft Edge around rounded corners. And the description reads, enables rounded tabs, rounded corners around browser frames that bring visual separation. We change it from default to enabled once again, restart the browser. And after the browser has been restarted, although, as I did mention, the flag is not working at this stage because you can see, uh, if I just head over back to Wikipedia as an example, um, there are no rounded corners. Uh, there is no... Um, rounded corners on that actual frame of that website and the browser but nonetheless because the flag is now available um, gives us a good indication that this is something that Microsoft will start testing officially and um, which will first roll out to the Canary Dev beta and if it uh, does pass the testing will make it to the stable version so that's just two new features that Microsoft is now testing in Edge Canary and I just wanted to bring that to your attention so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.